David Schwartz revealed 4 million XRP holders will become rich in 2022. Is it possible to relist XRP on Coinbase? What will such an event lead to? We will answer these questions in today's video. The current price of XRP for today is 0. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1360000000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. Brian Brooks, ex head of the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, in the U.S. Treasury Department and former CEO of Binance in the U.S., expressed his assumptions about the possible outcome of the Ripple lawsuit against the SEC. In a recent interview, Brooks noted that the court will decide whether the initial coin offering ICO of Ripple in 2013 is a violation of U.S. securities laws. However, he expects both sides to come to a settlement so that investors can continue to trade XRP in the United States. According to Brooks, the settlement that is likely to happen will border on the spread of XRP in 2013. Here, the most important problem related to XRP is that there is a difference between the way an asset is distributed and the nature of the asset at the moment and time. And I think the problem is that whatever happened during the initial distribution of XRP tokens 10 years ago, whether it was a security or not, it will be decided by the court. The question is, is XRP a security today? The answer is that the SEC itself has stated that assets can change their nature over time as they become useful and decentralized. I'll just make a quick prediction that a settlement will be reached somewhere. The settlement is related to the distribution of tokens so that existing token holders can continue to trade them and find value in them in the ways they do, Brooks is quoted as saying. Want to know what Michael Barr thinks about hashtag XRP? Brooks is an American lawyer, technologist, and entrepreneur. He has extensive knowledge in the public and private financial sectors. Brooks served as Comptroller of the Currency from May 29, 2022 to January 14, 2021. After serving as Comptroller of the Currency, Brooks became CEO of Binance, the United States. However, his tenure did not last as many expected, as he resigned just three months after starting work. I am informing you all that I have resigned as CEO of Binance US. Despite the differences over the strategic direction, I wish my former colleagues great success. There will be exciting new things, Brooks tweeted. Interestingly, attorney John Deaton, the legal representative of more than 71,000 XRP holders in the lawsuit, also previously said that the SEC would rather agree with Ripple than hand over Hinman's documents. According to the letter filed yesterday, Ripple wants to classify the names and identifying information of third parties and some Ripple employees included in the petitions. The blockchain company stated that the proposed corrections were made to protect the privacy of the parties. Ripple and two of its executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, are asking for narrow corrections to the physical evidence presented by the company and the SEC regarding objections to petitions to exclude expert testimony. The defendants submitted copies of the physical evidence with the proposed revisions classified together with their letter. The limited corrections requested by the defendants are narrowly focused on protecting the legitimate privacy interests of third parties, Ripple noted in its letter. Hashtag XRP community, hashtag SSEGovV, hashtag Ripple, hashtag XRP. The Ripple defendants have filed a letter proposing narrowly tailored redactions to a limited number of exhibits to the briefs filed by the parties in opposition to the motions to exclude expert testimony. According to Ripple, some of the third parties it seeks to classify include both some digital asset market participants and its business partners. 
These non-parties expressed a desire for the proposed amendments to protect their private interests, Ripple said. Ripple also confirmed its willingness to edit the names and contact information of two of its employees who appear in Daubert's response. The blockchain company noted that the identities of its employees are not relevant to Daubert's response, adding that they are also not part of the lawsuit. In addition, Ripple also wants to edit the personal financial assets of one of its employees, which it claims are unrelated to Daubert's answer. Meanwhile, attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan Hogan, became interested in the identity of the so-called digital asset market participants. Can digital asset market participants mean real retail buyers of XRP? Fingers crossed, lawyer Hogan said. Ripple is requesting relatively limited, relative to the SEC, redactions of exhibits mainly to keep non-parties' names out of the pleadings. Could digital asset market participants be referring to actual XRP retail purchasers? Crossing fingers? Ripple has just published a new report on crypto trends in business. The report highlights a blockchain-based internet of values that transcends national borders and expands or replaces existing ways of doing business. According to Ripple, blockchain and cryptocurrency technologies, together with central bank digital currencies, CBDC, are expected to have a big impact on institutions. According to the report, by 2025, 76% of the world's financial institutions want to use cryptocurrency, provided that it is allowed by law. Various technologies, such as cryptocurrencies and NFT, are being implemented by enterprises, governments in various ways as new use cases become available. However, given the nascent state of these new technologies and the inability of many to fully understand the possibilities, as well as the lack of clear rules, the crypto industry is having difficulty overcoming these barriers to wider adoption. The Ripple report pays tribute to NFT for the great consumer interest in cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Although this indicates that the user experience with NFT was not easy due to the infrastructure and design. According to Ripple and, more controversially from the point of view of cryptocurrency, CBDC will contribute to what has been done by cryptocurrencies and stablecoins, and thereby set in motion the flywheel of the blockchain. However, the following statement in favor of cryptocurrencies does give a bold idea of the impact of tokens. There are hints that financial leaders of both financial institutions and businesses once again see tokens, including cryptocurrency, as an even more powerful force than the underlying blockchain technology that drives them. Following the general schemes of buying and selling tokens at their first launch, Ripple believes that in some cases this gives way to greater complexity and advanced programmability, which is now happening with NFT and CBDC. The widespread use of cryptocurrencies for payments is the most important factor that businesses and financial institutions should consider when deciding whether to include cryptocurrencies in their investment portfolio. The usefulness of cryptocurrencies as a kind of hedging is in second place, and the associated use of cryptocurrencies as an intermediate currency is in third place. Institutions see the greatest value in cryptocurrencies for portfolio management, including hedging, and mainly for payments. 70% of financial institutions surveyed for this study expressed interest in using blockchain technology for various types of payments. The wider use of technologies such as DeFi is still not being explored by most institutions. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.